Based on one surviving witness's accounts, investigators believe the deaths happened between 4 and 425 that morning. Koberger's lawyers say their client had a habit of taking long drives alone, and that is what he was doing late November 12th and into the early hours of November 13th. Joining me now to talk about this latest development is criminologist Dr. Debbie Goodman. Dr. Goodman, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. It sounds as though uh, Koberger's defense team has a, uh, a plan that they plan to go with. Do you think it will work? Well, good afternoon, Nick. Always a pleasure to join you. I think this plan of a defense is, is aligned with Swiss cheese for me, Nick, as a criminologist. Why? Because there are way too many holes and simply not enough substance and solid information. So we can remind the viewers, when we talk about an alibi, an alibi is something that is to dispute that the whereabouts of the defendant at the time of the crime. So he's alleged to have been at the home, but to simply say that he's on this long drive, there's no verification. An alibi is designed to either, it's a person who can say where this individual was during this time period of November 12th to the 13th. It could be um, an item, by the way. It could be something such as a receipt where one was at a particular place where we've got a time and a date stamp. It could be surveillance of, you know, closed caption type of, of TV. But to simply say that one is driving and there's no way to substantiate that, I, I feel it's very weak. And Dr. Goldman, even if you were to produce a you know, surveillance video or receipt of some kind, would they still have the burden of explaining away uh, what prosecutors say they have as evidence of cell phone pings of his vehicle being near the home uh, and casing the place before the murders occurred? Right, that's a great point to bring up. So now we can pivot to what the prosecution will be presenting in October. And we already know it's going to be very solid, Nick, very substantial to include his DNA, meaning the suspect, on this knife sheath that is directly at the crime scene. And to your point about the cell phone data and the pings, that's huge for the prosecution showing that this individual is right there in close proximity to the crime scene of the home. We also have more. We have um, we have his car on footage. And what I think is also going to be really insurmountable for this defense is that this individual reached out to one or more of our victims on social media. We will also come to find out that he has pictures on his phone of one or more of our victims. So for me, we're really talking about just a lot of important, substantial data that the prosecution has and will introduce as evidence and the defense, I feel, is just trying to uh, grasp at straws and come up with something. But if that's all they have, it is terribly weak. And Dr. Goldman, uh, help, though, for our audience at home to understand that it's not a crime for a young man to go on a drive and possibly be near a home where something eventually occurred or to have uh, pictures of attractive girls on his phone or whatever. Uh, but what you're saying is it's the culmination of those things that actually uh, could that circumstantial evidence in in whole could help to build a case. Absolutely, Nick. And we know that many high profile cases that, that we have discussed on the platform have been deeply rooted in the circumstantial. That's absolutely true. But remember, on, on this particular case, we have both um, circumstantial as well as tangible. Um, I'm starting with the, the DNA. You know, we have to look at that first and foremost, that who among us, right, the, the, the million, billion, trillion, but on this case, we're in the numerical of octillion that nobody else's DNA was found at this crime scene other than this suspect. So it will be very interesting as it plays out, but I just think we've got overwhelming evidence from the prosecution versus potentially what this defense is coming up with as a long drive to nowhere with nobody seeing him and nobody substantiating this. 
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.